All right. In lesson 12, we're not actually going to do any simulation or analysis in our model. Perhaps I'm going to talk about a little bit uh, on different techniques on making the geometry of your uh, model. So the techniques that we're going to teach is add and uh, subtract and uh, glue and uh, let's say extrude basically you will use these techniques when you have a little bit sophisticated model or geometry uh, to analyze and uh, you have to go through these uh, either of these processes or steps to define the geometry of your material uh, of your model from the basic uh, geometries that you make let's say you have a square like this and you have a circle in the middle of it and you want to have you want to subtract this uh, square from the um, or, or circle from the square well let's say you have an R square and you have a circle like this and you want to add these two together and, and to make them one um, uh, geometry or one model or if you remember in lesson in one of the lessons that I was uh, working on or I was doing this uh, composite beam heat uh, thermal expansion or thermal or temperature expo explosion to a composite beam when I def define these two areas I glued them to each other uh, along this line so that these two areas or these two materials would be regarded as one or one material um, or one element of two materials. An extrude is a comment that you will, u you will use to uh, generate two 3D models from your 2D geometry. So let's say you have an area like a circle, I mean a square, and you can extrude that to get a uh, block or a cube like this. Oops. If it's all, uh, if I drew it perfectly so you can use that and also extrude is uh, in compared in comparison to other 3d software such as SolidWorks when you define let's say a center line and you make this uh, model and you do revolve in in SolidWorks and get a, a cylinder out of this for example this is a, the same uh, comment in in ANSYS. Extrude uh, can also do the same thing. That so I guess for extrude I will have a full lesson later as well to show you how you can generate different models using this uh, or different three D models uh, from your two D uh, geometries or uh, models. So let's go to ANSYS and practice some of these modeling techniques today. Okay, uh, we're in ANSYS. I go to preprocessor, and as I said, because I'm not gonna do any simulation today, so I can skip element type, real constants, material, and just jump into modeling section. For the first uh, example, let's uh, make two areas, a rectangle by two dimensions. Let's go from, let's say, minus five to plus five in x direction and minus 5 to plus 5 in y direction so we have a square in here and let's make a circle by dimensions um, or yeah, I can do it by dimensions or I can also pick a solid circle here say wx and wy so these are the uh, parameters for the center of the uh, circle I put it at 0 and 0 and for the radius I'm gonna get uh, let's say radius of 2 and click OK so we have one two areas so if I come to list areas I have area 1 with these uh, parameters so this is there is no element size no nodes no elements because and no materials because I didn't define anything in, in terms of uh, element or material or real constant so these these are all zero I have one two three four lines for this uh, 
uh, area, which is my rectangle or square in here. And area two is a circle, and the circle is also made out of four lines. So each quarter of this uh, circle is one line, but they're arc lines, not straight lines. So if I come to numbering and say, give me the numbers of areas, area number two is in here, and area number one actually is in here too, at the center. So the center of the area, number one, is actually at the same place, that's why we don't see that one. If I come back to here, numbering, and turn off area numbering, and turn on line numbering, I will see L1, 2, 3, 4, the four lines for the square, and the four lines for the circle. I want to turn off the uh, line numbering as well. Now let's try to subtract, subtract the circle from this square. So what I have to do is to come from create to operate, booleans, subtract, and areas. I'm going to pick the first one is the square I'm going to pick. So I'm going to basically because I'm going to subtract this circle from the square. So I pick the square first. And it's asking me that there are two areas that you can pick. Which one do you want to pick? So if I click next, the circle is going to be picked. Again, next the square is going to be picked, so I click OK for the square. OK for this one. And I'm going to pick this circle. Click OK and OK. Now the circle is being subtracted from my square. If I come to a list and areas again, so I only have one area left, which is area number three, with one, two, three, four, oh no, OK, one, two, three, four, and six, five, eight, the numbering is not uh, in order. So th these are the line numbers that I have. Eight lines for this uh, uh, square, for this area, which is not a uh, filled or solid square anymore. Two loops, the first loop is uh, the square, the second loop is the circle, and again, there is no element sizes or nothing uh, defined for me but there's only one area left. So if I come to plot numbering for areas, I will only see area number three, which is the only area that I have. So ANSYS goes ahead and uh, increments the number, uh, number for area as I uh, delete or add or um, do stuff with that. So this is the first one. Basically, you can just pick uh, or do uh, or create geometries and then use subtract to remove parts of it from the entire area. Now let's go and try some add uh, function in here. So I'm gonna come to delete areas and below which means it removes areas and lines and key points that were generated to make this entire thing and pick all so everything is gone. If I, or if I plot, let's say, areas. So these lines are probably nothing. Let's come back and create another rectangle by dimensions again. And let's say at the same dimension, click OK. I have A1 because probably numbering for areas is on. Yep, I'm going to close or turn it off. Now let's make another circle, solid circle. At x of minus 5 or plus 5 and z of 0 and the radius of 5 or y of 0. So I made a circle and a square. And I want to add them together. But before that, let's see uh, my areas. I have again two areas with four lines each and none of them has any element sizes or nodes or elements. Going back to operate, add and again areas, I can pick this and this, click OK, so I only have one area. If you see the lines here, the this uh, right hand side line of the circle square and the two lines on the left portion of um, the circle are lost or gone. 
as, as well as the key points that were uh, s strictly for those lines. So if we come to list and areas, I only have one area left, which is area number three, with one, two, three, four, five lines. Let's see how. Numbering. So number line number one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, so basically, num line number two was uh, deleted, as well as n line number five and uh, six. So ANSYS kept incrementing the number of uh, the line numbers. So it came one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, and eight were used. So it's re resumed from nine and ten. So I have five lines defining this uh, uh, geometry or area. Let's add, add an R circle. And um, exactly the same point, five and zero, but with a radius of, let's say, 2.5. Okay, so I have this uh, area. Now let's get back to operate and let's uh, uh, subtract areas from this area okay subtract this area so again I made this uh, area which is my new area and let's go to extrude areas along normal Let's say I pick the area that I want, click OK. So the area to be extruded is number area number two. Length of extrusion, let's say um, uh, six. And I'm going to leave key point incrementation uh, as blank and click OK. Now I have uh, a 3D model in here. Which basically I can, if I had defined elements and material, I could load this and do analysis on this one or simulation. But this is not for today's purpose. So let's delete this thing also, or let's come here, clear and start new. Click OK and yes. And let's get back to modeling and create two areas. I'm going to make two rectangles, one going from x of 0 and y and 0 to x of uh, 5 and y of 0 to 2, apply, and then the other one only this. Okay. So I have two areas. So if I come to list and areas, I will see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. So the line numbers are like this. And I have area number 1 and area number 2. Let's um, come to operate, booleans, and glue them together. The areas, pick 1 and 2. OK. Back to list and areas. I still have two areas. Area number one and area, area number three. Okay, let's see the numbering for areas. So area number one is still the same, but area number two is changed to area number three because it's a different uh, uh, area because it's been glued to area number one. If I come to plot numbering and plot line numbers as well, I have one, two, three, four, five, um, 9 and 10 while before I, ha I used to have I should have um, 5, 6, 7, 8 you know kind of like that but line this line number is kept as line 1 and the others on the left and, s left and right are incremented by 1 from, nine, from 8 to 9 and 10 but I still have two areas defined okay Let's uh, get back to delete and uh, areas and below. Pick all, and I want to delete all my areas. Back to create and areas and rectangles again. 
same two um, areas I want to make so if you see I have layer number one and seven are in the same spot number two number three number four five six seven and eight so I have two areas area one and area two with four lines each now let's see what happens if I add them together so come to operate booleans add areas one and two okay so I just get one area which is called area number three with uh, one two three four five six lines so the line in the middle or the lines in the middle are deleted uh, but the lines on the sides are not deleted or are, they're not even joined or added together to make one line so there are like f two lines on each side uh, on, on, on the left and on the right and one one line in bottom and one line in the uh, in the top part of this uh, area that I just made and again I can um, probably draw an R circle or an R area in here and get rid of it I mean or remove it from there or I can also come to here and create uh, key points let's say in active CS from the X of um, 2 and Y of 0 let's say apply to the X of um, um, let's say 4 and Y of 0 apply to 2 and 4 let's make X of 3 and Y of um, 2 okay well let's delete that key point this one and create another key point at the Y of 1 because it's uh, almost out of the uh, geometry and now let's uh, create a line or lines straight lines all right and let's uh, make an area with that with these lines so arbitrary by lines and picking these lines okay so right now I have area number one and area number three let's um, get back to delete or no operate subtract areas this one first okay this one second okay so I have a new area with this triangle being uh, subtracted from the overall area so if I come to list areas I will see I have area number two with two loops in it the first loop has one two three four five six lines and the second loop has three lines because the second loop is this uh, triangle basically and uh, there are other things that we can do is reflect that's kinda like the mirror thing that we could do but um, I think I will um, keep this uh, for in our lesson and also we'll explain more in the extrude part later how to make uh, 3D models from your 2D models and I will leave you with um, just um, these examples of how to add and subtract and glue and you also you learned what what is the difference between um, gluing the boolean section the difference between add and glue so basically when you use add to add uh, more than one areas to each other there will be one area left or one one area created but when you glue more than one areas the number of areas is not going to change but the attributes are changing only so this is the conclusion to lesson 12